people of the Maritimes experience strange things, like lights in the sky at night. In fact, large groups of people have actually witnessed these mysterious lights that fly in the night sky. Don Ledger is quite a qualified individual when it comes to the study of UFOs. Investigated a wide range of UFO uh, phenomena in, in, in and about the Maritimes. We often have uh, orange balls that are sighted uh, coming in off the water, coming in over the land, uh, and then, and then the, 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 the more generalized uh, UFO uh, of it being a silver disc shape. An incident that was passed along to me by one of the news anchors at one of the local TV stations. Two young girls, 14 years of age, were walking down from their house, and it was at night, and um, while they were walking down the road, they noticed a brilliantly lit uh, cluster of lights in the sky uh, just off to the side of the road to their left. Immediately, both girls knew that this was something unusual. Uh, one of them immediately became quite agitated and, uh, matter of fact, fearful, while the other one was fascinated. And it started to move in a little closer to their position. The girl who was agitated grabbed her, her cousin and said, come on, let's go back to the house, and wanted to run back to the house. And she started to cry. She was that upset about it. Well, the other one was just sort of rooted to the spot. And uh, eventually, she was able to get her, her cousin to move, and they started running back to the house. They, they, they ran excitedly into the house. Uh, the girl who lived there told her father that there was a, this thing in the sky, and he ran outside. By that time, it had curved around behind the uh, trees and disappeared. Halifax is not only a hotbed of activity for UFOs, it's also a place where people report alien abductions. One abduction case involved a couple that had uh, gone to the Maritimes for a vacation. In fact, the man had grown up in the Maritimes. But when they reached their motel, they saw a strange object in the sky. It was a disc-shaped object, clearly visible and moving very quickly. The wife found this very interesting, but the husband found himself shaking involuntarily terrified by what he had seen. She calmed him down, but something was clearly bothering him. Later that night, the wife went to bed, but the husband found himself unable to sleep. He sat looking out through the window and was shocked to see a strange hovering light outside the window. He found himself staring at the object. His last memory of the night was being almost hypnotized by the light. He woke up in the morning confused. He had no recollection of getting in bed, but he was. He had even changed clothes. He had no recollection of the six hours that proceeded. Nightmares began to plague him always involving the lights in the sky and some strange dark creatures hovering over him. Instances of missing time had also occurred in his childhood. He admitted to his wife that he had seen a UFO as a child and that the same nightmares of being marched off by some strange creatures had plagued him even then. He truly believes that something has been following him and that these abductions may be an ongoing part of his life. It would seem that these alien creatures had waited for his homecoming to revisit him. I started to delve uh, more deeply into uh, the ab abduction phenomena because it does seem to be part and parcel, uh, hand, run hand in hand with UFO phenomena and uh, because I was getting calls about it. The Shirley case uh, what I call the Shirley case, uh, I, I believe that this was part of the abduction phenomenon. There is missing time involved. There was fears for her unborn baby. This quite often happens, uh, particularly if a woman is pregnant. There are certain similarities in, uh, in, uh, in these cases, abduction cases, where um, usually there's some kind of contact made in the persons, and usually it happens in the bedroom. What happens is the, the person seems to either float out of their bed or flow through a wall. They actually go through a wall and into a craft of some description, and then after that, they're on a, the next thing they know, they're laying on a gurney or some kind of a metal bed in the, in the object, and they're being examined. There's many abductees out there now that hate this phenomenon. They, they, they hate what's happening to them. They, they can't seem to get, get clear of it. 
they find out it's been going on. Normally they don't find out until they're in their 30s that this has been going on since they were four and five years old. What's really important here is there's no physical evidence. What you have is a story. There are books out talking about abductions. There are television programs coming from the United States talking about abductions. If one reads one of these stories, then one knows what to expect. And all you need, again, is a very suggestible person. And uh, some disturbance in the night, the person wakes up and believes he or she is now, like the person in the book, just returned from a flying saucer and had some operation performed. But there's, again, there's no stitching, there's no sign of anything. Why is that? Well, of course, you can always create a, an explanation. These people are so advanced, they don't need to stitch you up after the operation. The whole story is so illogical, but people aren't swayed by the lack of logic. They say, well, that's the way it is. The more people are criticized about the lack of evidence, the more solid they'll become in their defense of the experience they report. At any rate, uh, if one looks at the logic of it, one would wonder why if people were advanced enough to come all this way to our planet, first of all, why they'd bother with us if we're so unadvanced. Secondly, why they would bother picking up people and then returning them. And thirdly, uh, how it is that they're so magical that they can escape all detection and not leave the slightest bit of physical evidence. So once again, it's like ghost stories. Um, good doses of imagination, suggestibility, and no physical evidence ever. It's, it's pretty hard to blow this off and uh, just call it lights in the sky. We'd really like to see as science really get involved in this and have a look at it. Let's fun try and find out what's going on here. There is definitely something happening in the Maritimes. There have been hundreds of accounts. People sighting UFOs, abductions. We're not sure what all this means, but we cannot deny the fact that something is happening in that area of this country.